the co-founder of the organization, the Women's Media Center. Yes, and the organization's goal is to help women have a more powerful role in the media today. Gloria Steinem is here to talk about her big event. She's got this awards gala happening at Guastafino's it's tonight. It's fantastic, I have to say. You have <laughs> Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is hosting it, and she is so amazing, Anne, because she's both a big star and a character actor who can be there with Meryl Streep. You know, she's totally amazing. You, you know, uh, I remember those ads, you've come a long way, baby. Have women come a long way? I mean, you, see, you have this media center, but apparently you still have concerns. Mm -hmm. Well, the media center is only seven years old, and I'm very proud of it because it doesn't, it, it monitors the media, which is crucial, and it also trains women to be media savvy. Women don't get up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, I see a public intellectual, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it has all kinds of functions. It's very, very important. But you have to remember that the suffragist abolitionist movement lasted a century to gain a legal identity. And now we're striving for legal equality. So I don't know how to break this to you, but I figure we have 60 years to go. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I mean, we, we take a look. There, there's still not equity in the workplace. You're well, still not making not. a dollar for a dollar. But we are, would you agree, making progress? As you look back at this last election cycle, with uh, a yeah. record 20 women elected into uh, the, the Senate. U.S. Senate this year. Um, and it, 81 mm -hmm. in the House. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you, but that's uh, not even half in each, each well, place. And, and, and we made the difference in the presidential election. Obviously, it's the biggest gender gap and the biggest race gap in the history of this country. But we're, if you look at the representation of women worldwide in political bodies of their country, we're still in the 80s, I think. You know, I mean, we're not doing that well. But this was a big step forward. You know, I, I was looking at the Daily News today, and they had this big picture of Rihanna, and she's barely clothed. And also in GQ magazine, uh, Ben Affleck and T Tatum Channing, and they are both buttoned up. Mm. They both have clothes on. One has a suit with a tie on, but she has to pose. Well, yeah, this is, this is the politics of nudity. You know, I mean, it's not as if I don't believe, and I hope she was not forced to do this, but it's the culture that says that women are judged by our outsides and men by their insides, and that is a problem. Is but that Gloria, still no. the case? I'm just wondering. <laughs> well, no, you're never going to get a word in edgewise. No, Sorry. no I, the only thing, <laughs> as long as you're bringing it up, I, I think it's, it's, it's certainly it's, it's worthy of debate. No one told this woman that she needed to dress yes. this way. She made no, a no, conscious no, decision financially, most likely. No, 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 or no, do you no, disagree? no, the whole culture, the whole culture says that we are judged by, more judged by our outsides than our insides. And incidentally, this is not good for men's health because men think that they're better looking and thinner than they are, which gives them health problems and we don't <laughs> think that they're But worse, But by, the, but, but by right. the same token, do you believe we, we've never seen a picture of Ben Affleck with his shirt off or Channing, Channing Tatum was I, a I don't think you can, Channing I don't think Tatum you can win this argument. I don't think you can win this argument. I, I mean, I'm, look, you, you, don't, you don't have to do, you know, sometimes when I turn on the news, I think, is it Hooters or is it the news? Right. You don't have to have a bare chest when you're doing the news. I mean, there is a politics of nudity, and it's not, it, it's mainly gendered, but it's also racial. But, I agree, but, I agree. If you turn on TV stations, you will see women with their arms out in sleeveless dress, no, no matter what the weather, and the guys still have the ties and, up and, to here. And cleavage, and this, I mean, from talking to these women, I mean, they're encouraged to do this to keep their jobs, and they have to be younger I than the average guy who is on camera. I recognize the sensitivity and I don't want you to think I certainly don't support either feminism or 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 uh, common sense. Common sense. <laughs> but thank you. Hate but, to put words but in is, your is mouth. This, but is, is Rihanna in this sense a victim or is she a willing participant that doesn't do There's, much for the women's movement? Are, That's my only question. No, there are not there are many more choices in life than just two, all right. So I hope and believe that she wasn't forced to do this, but the whole thrust of a woman's career, especially in show business, is about body, is about nudity, is about w what's, in, it's about being an instrument rather than an ornament. Mm. Huh. Right? Okay. Yeah.
uh, that is, they're encouraged to be ornaments, not instruments. Hmm. And you see this in insecurity of younger. I mean, it's part of what the Women's Media Center does, because we 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 want to help change. You know, we're not just sitting here being critical. We're so, making lists of women experts. You know, who should be on camera and training women. So you know, we're definitely doing our part. I, I want to ask something uh, outside the Women's Media Center. There is a new movie being made called Lovelace, um, and in the movie, obviously, you have a big role. Gloria Steinem has a big role. I don't role have a big role. I have a role. <laughs> but I heard that Sarah Jessica Parker is going to play you in the movie. Yes, and I'm very honored. Yes, yes. Yes. She has kind of a sexy reputation, Gloria. Well, listen, <laughs> the women's movement is pro-sex but anti-violence. Uh, and that show that she did was about female friendship. Mm. That was the attraction of, you know, of the whole show. There you go. All right. Uh, there are a few tickets left for the event tonight, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And it's huge. I mean, I can't begin to We're honoring Pat Mitchell who is famous, I think, as a documentarian and as a journalist. But what people don't know about her is that she's the single person I know who is trusted in the halls of power, big media power, and also in movements. So she makes a bridge between those two things. Mm -hmm. And that's so, so valuable. So nice to meet you in person. It's nice to meet you in person. Thank Have you guys you. never met before? I've never met. I, I've, oh. I've always admired her. We feel we her. know each other. Yeah, right, right. I've admired her from afar. Oh. We're going to play.